Hi, I'm Emily Hardy, and I'm running for president as the SHU Party candidate. Helping others is one of my main philosophies, and being able to see other people's feelings and situations from their shoes is an important skill. Walk with me on the path to a greater America. Our immigration system is broken. As president, I will do what I can to fix it and achieve justice. It is not practical to deport all of the illegal immigrants living here in the United States. With that in mind, I have come up with a provisional legal status program that allows illegal immigrants to earn their citizenship. The goal of this program is to encourage illegal immigrants to come forward and earn their citizenship in a safe, easy way. This will keep them from being deported and keep families together. One of the biggest concerns regarding gun control is finding a balance between protecting our right and keeping guns out of the hands of the wrong people. From 2001 to 2013, there are about 406,000 deaths by firearms on U.S. soil. This is important when compared to the amount of homicides by terrorism, which in the same domain was 3,000, even factoring in 9-11. Many people focus on terrorism as one of the main issues of our nation, but based on these statistics, it would seem that gun violence in our country is much more dangerous. Also, the leading cause of death in the nation is motor vehicle accidents with 35,000 deaths a year, but death by firearms is a close second with 33,000 deaths. Many people who are pro-life have a misconception that everyone who is pro-choice is pro-abortion. I myself am pro-choice, which does not mean I would have an abortion. I am pro-choice because I am able to place myself in other women's shoes and consider extreme circumstances. If I were to be raped and impregnated at a young age, which is possible because one in six women have experienced attempted or completed rape, bearing that child could potentially be traumatizing. Though healthcare is not explicitly a right given to us by the Constitution, I believe it is a human right. Other than providing the poor with needed affordable health care, this right could result in an increased economic productivity, benefit private businesses, and encourage entrepreneurship. Yeah. Hi, I'm Emily Hardy and I approve this message.